Hello everyone, I am Bizeras Bodel and today I'll be presenting the uh, presentation of our paper on the resiliency of an analog memory stiff architecture against adversarial attacks. So the authors of this paper are myself, Bizeras Bodel, Vasily Espintos and Spiros Tragudas from School of Electrical Computer and Biomedical Engineering in South Illinois University, Carbondale. So here is the outline of my presentation. First, I'll introduce the topic, present the problem and existing solutions and our approach. And then I'll present the background on adversarial attacks, existing memory stiff crossbar array based uh, architectures. I will talk about the proposed enhancement to existing analog memory stiff crossbar array architecture. And then I'll present the experimental results on using various adversarial attacks on different data sets and different uh, deep learning architectures. And finally, I'll conclude the presentation. We all know that deep neural networks are everywhere from our smartphones to home security systems to vehicles and even hospitals. But these deep neural networks are vulnerable to carefully computed modifications to inputs known as adversarial attacks. These adversarial attacks can easily fool the deep neural networks to produce incorrect results. And also the emerging paradigm of constructing this deep neural network hardware uses memory stiff crossbar arrays or MCA insert. These MCAs are used to perform multiplications and additions, which are the main components of any deep neural networks. These MCA have uh, advantage of having very low latency and small power and area requirement over conventional hardware. In this work, we study the resiliency of analog uh, memory stiff crossbar array based deep neural network architecture against adversarial attacks and uh, we compare the resiliency with the software architecture as well as uh, recently proposed hybrid MCA based architecture which has been shown to show some resiliency against adversarial attacks. First I'll present some background on adversarial attacks. So adversarial attacks are inputs with carefully constructed perturbations and they force the deep neural networks to produce incorrect results. So these perturbations are usually made imperceptible to humans by constraining them within some bounds. These bounds can be like number of pixels, amount of modifications to each pixels and uh, distance from the original image, etc. The figure on the right shows the adversarial example. So it's an image of digit 7 with uh, added perturbations and which is classified as image of digit 3. So as you can see the adversarial example is classified as digit 3 with very high confidence. Um, so Mathematically, these attacks are constructed by solving optimization problems uh, where the aim is to maximize the loss instead of minimizing it like in regular neural network training. In adversarial attacks constructions, the parameters of networks like weights and bias are kept constant, uh, but the input is changed. And depending upon the con constraint and optimization method used, uh, many different attack methods are proposed. These attack methods are also sometimes called attack models. Some examples are fast gradient sign method, saliency map method, iterative methods, etc. Based on attackers' knowledge, uh, adversarial attacks can be divided into two types, white box attacks and black box attacks. In white box attacks, attacker has uh, knowledge of the, the network parameters along with its gradients. Uh, 
so in black box attacks attackers uh, do not have knowledge of network parameters and they use they usually use surrogate models to create attacks so black box attacks are based on the facts that attacks are transferable attack generated on one model uh, is also successful in another unknown model so these black box attacks are more practical than white box attacks so there are many existing defenses uh, against adversarial attacks so these defenses require additional computing resources most of these defenses uh, fall under the category of input pre-processing or architecture modification or training modification methods so many of these methods are just limited to software implementations memory stiff crossbar array can also be used as a defense as shown by a recent literature so it does not require uh, extra computations and has advantages of being low latency and real time so the non-idealities of memristors cause deviations in output uh, so attacker is unable to find a uh, simple differentiable functions to model such deviations and create uh, attacks so uh, memory stiff crossbar arrays have higher resiliency than traditional uh, deep neural network implementation this slide presents the background on the memory strip crossbar array or mca for short so in memory strip crossbar array there are rows and columns and memory strips are placed at the intersection of every row and column so memory strips are basically uh, non-volatile programmable resistors which can be programmed by passing voltage or current depending upon their type uh, so memory stiff crossbar array perform multiplications and additions by using Kirchhoff's law and uh, Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's current law. So, for example, in the in the column C1, the current I1 is equal to the sum of products X1, M11, and X2, M21 up to Xn, Mn1. So here X is a input voltage, M uh, N1 is the conductance of the memory stress. So these relations can be summarized by this mathematical equation presented in the slide. So using uh, MCA memory strip crossbar array uh, different architectures can be constructed uh, so one such architecture is hybrid architecture where multiplications and additions is performed by MCA but the signal is converted to uh, digital signals by using ADC and before feeding it to MCA it is converted to uh, analog signals by using DAC so after ADC array uh, the rest of the required operations like activation functions or winner take all those all are performed in digital domain by digital execute uh, digital execution units so in this type of architectures most of the area and power is occupied by adc and dac another mc architecture is a fully analog architecture where uh, analog to digital conversion and digital to analog conversions are avoided uh, all the required functionalities like activation functions winner take all are implemented in analog domain so the uh, image uh, presented here is the analog architectures from our previous work so basically this architecture has double column structures to handle negative weights where one column is uh, dedicated to positive weight and another to negative weights and the final current is the difference of uh, uh, currents in positive column and currents in negative column this difference is computed by using interface module uh, in our previous work this interface module is implemented by using a domain wall device also 
each uh, memory Steve uh, uh, cell has a access transistors. So to isolate uh, uh, each memory stores, we use these access transistors. So this is also called transistor memory store uh, cell. Here, due to uh, due to everything done in analog domain, it has very low latency and it saves uh, much amount of area and power. So the picture here just shows a single layer. This uh, output of this layer can be fed to the next layer. Existing analog architecture only implement feed-forward uh, neural network. So as an extension, we implement convolutional uh, layer and also mean pooling layer uh, using analog MCA arrays. So in convolutional layer, applies a filter over the input multiple times uh, to produce the output activation map. So the, each element of the output is equal to the uh, sum of products element-wise products between filter and the uh, window of input. So this, this, uh, this window is slided over the whole input to produce the output. So the equation is presented in the slide. Um, so this can be implemented using memory steep crossbar array as shown in the figure. So this is the fixed arrangement for a convolutional uh, layer. This is not reconfigurable. Uh, so here in this uh, MC area, this uh, green uh, memory stores are the memory stores at high uh, uh, conductance at very high uh, resistive states. And blue ones are the ones uh, that are programmed to the a proper weights. Uh, also, the mean pooling layer can be implemented by crossbar by setting all the uh, memory stores uh, to uh, same value. Um, we so in the um, proposed extension, we replace the max pooling layer in the large CNN networks such as VZZ by mean pooling layer so that it can be implemented easily in hardware. So beside this, we also implement the uh, winner take all circuit and ReLU circuit in analog. Next, we present the uh, experimental uh, results. So first, the uh, tools used to uh, generate the experiments. PyTorch was used for all deep learning simulation. To generate attacks, we use adversarial robustness toolbox. Uh, and MemTorch was used to simulate the memristor arrays. We implement all the circuits in 45 nanometer technology nodes. And also, to uh, speed up the simulation, we use the lookup table based simulation. And to test uh, the resiliency, we use uh, two architectures and two data sets. One is MNIST, uh, implementing a fully connected network with uh, uh, 100 hidden neurons. And uh, we implement uh, VZZ11 for CIFAR10 where max pooling is uh, replaced by mean pooling so that it can be implemented using uh, MC arrays. So this slide presents the experimental results using MNIST dataset. So we use both black box attacks and white box attacks to test the resiliency and compare the accuracy with uh, conventional uh, software architecture. Uh, that is pre presented in the column C, O, and V, and also compare with the hybrid architecture and the proposed fully analog architecture. 
So first on the clean uh, images uh, without attacks, the conventional software architecture has highest accuracy. So the accuracy is affected uh, by the non-linearities in the memory stores and also non-ideal implementations of uh, activation functions in the proposed analog architecture. So but the uh, decrease is not too high so compared to hybrid we have like 0.5 percent decrease in accuracy so but under uh, attacks first under black box attacks the uh, accuracy of the conventional software architecture um, reduces drastically uh, again under every attacks so it is even more pronounced under attacks like jsma and square attacks the hybrid uh, architectures uh, show some resiliency under uh, under these attacks and the proposed architecture ha uh, has even higher uh, resiliency so under white box attacks the trend is similar um, the uh, adversaries are more successful under white box attacks but the resiliency is more in hybrid architecture than conventional and the best in the proposed analog architecture. Um, so for MNIST, all the uh, black box attacks is generated using the Linet architecture and white box attack is generated using the same architecture that is tested. So this graph uh, presents the trend that uh, the table presented earlier. Uh, so we can see white box attacks are more successful than black box attacks but uh, under every attack uh, the accuracy of uh, the proposed uh, fully analog architecture is higher so this slide presents the uh, experimental results on cfar 10 dataset using vzz11 network so we use ResNet 18 to generate the adversarial black box attacks. So under clean uh, images, uh, the conventional software architecture has highest accuracy, followed by hybrid and by proposed. Again, uh, the similar trend as in MNIST is observed because of non-idealities in memory stores and activation functions. The accuracy decreases in hybrid and even a little in the proposed architecture so under attacks under both black box and white box attacks uh, hybrid architecture uh, has uh, significantly higher resiliency than black box uh, than the conventional software uh, architectures and the proposed analog architecture has even higher accuracy in every attack models so even in CIFAR, we see the similar trend in white box attacks, uh, where white box attacks are more successful than black box attacks. So this has been verified in uh, previous existing literature too. So this graph uh, shows the trend presented earlier. So this is similar to the MNIST where the proposed uh, architecture showed by the yellow bars has the highest accuracy so to conclude uh, mca based architectures are inherently more resilient to adversarial attacks due to non-idealities of memory stores so even analog mca based architecture are more resilient than hybrid mca based architectures so non-ideal implementation of activation functions um, play a major role in improving the accuracy. Uh, so this uh, improvement is observed in both simple feedforward network and deep convolutional neural network. So thank you for listening. So for any questions or queries, here are our contact information.